Hey guys, um, well, problem. With my, um, slash, I have noticed the motor start to make an incredibly strange grinding noise. Um, and I think it's a bearing inside the motor that has blown. Um, it is, it smells really electrical right now, actually. Yeah, smells really funny. Um, so the motor may be dying, which, if it is, Traxxas is giving me a new one because I've only had this for two weeks. Um, but I don't know if you can see this. But this, I think you can see it a little bit, but this actual drive shaft that comes straight out of the motor actually wiggles around. And that's what makes me think a motor, or a bearing is blown. Um... And when you turn it, you can feel it not turning around smoothly. It just, it kind of catches and grinds. Um, I'll go ahead and plug the battery in and let you hear it. It is a loud noise, so I'm just going to warn you. Okay, it's going, and here goes the motor. Okay, that's enough of that. It just hissed smoke out at me. So I won't do that again. So yeah, something bad is wrong with the motor. I've never had it hiss smoke at me before. That's a first. Um, yeah, the motor itself doesn't move around in its mount. But this little, this little bearing does. Um... Yeah, so that's that. I guess I'll give you a little update on the rest of the truck. The rest of the truck is fine. Um, steering servo still acts just like a steering servo should. Um, the only real bad complaint that I have with the truck is the shocks. They are absolutely rubbish. Stop Traxxas shocks are not good. Um, like I said, I've had this truck for about two weeks, and they're completely collapsed. Um, my brother, on his uh, Raptor, he's got one aluminum shock right here. And you can see that his is a lot better. Um... And he freaks out, because when it turns, it creaks. And I'm just telling him that it's just... It's just the springs compressing, and... Yeah. Um, so, anyway. I don't know what's wrong with the motor on this. And I checked the, uh... The gears. I'll find the other small gear. This one here. Um... They... The spur gear... And this gear still meshed perfectly, so... Honestly, I have no earthly idea. I mean... I guess I'll just have to wait and see... What Traxxas says tomorrow. I'm gonna call them up... And be like, hey, I've only had this truck for two weeks, and... Something's already gone wrong with it, and the motor is grinding, so I need... A new motor. Because y'all sent me a bad one. Um, you can even hear... With that gear back on. Kind of that clicking. So that's what makes me think a bearing has gone bad, but anyway, that's just kind of a random video. And if any of y'all know exactly what it is, um, please let me know. Because if it's a self fixable thing, I'd sure love to do that instead of having to 
deal with Traxxas because they might try and give me crap about it and that's about the last thing I need. Um, oh, also, I flipped over and hit a fence with it. I think I already made a video about that, but the fence post hit right here just like that and it split the chassis. So I got like some JB Weld stuff and glued the chassis pieces back on and um, it's probably more solid now than it was when it was new this stuff is just like incredibly hard it starts out as like a pasty gluey gummy stuff and then now it's rock solid and I trust it to take another hit like that and not break um, the front shocks, they're, they're a little better than the back, but they don't have as much weight to carry around, so that's probably with what's, they're probably both just as worn out, but the back has more weight to carry around since the motor is right there, which is now bad. Um, the tires, uh, well, they're, they're kind of starting to get a little bald. Come on iPhone, focus, please. I guess it won't do it. Um, the the rims, I mean, they're just, they're dirty right now. I need to clean them. And then the lettering that's uh, around the tire has basically worn completely off. Not so much on the back, but on the front it's almost completely gone and I think this tire might be a little off balance because um, it kind of has a little strange rolling pattern or something um, yeah see I think there might be a little maybe some dirt or something in there I don't know it doesn't affect the driving yet, so I'm not going to fart with it. Um, here's the body. It's taken quite a beating, actually. Um, lots of flips, and right there it's even cracked up to on the top of the fender flare. Um, I guess I could clean it up and make it look a little better, but it's just going to get dirty again, so why, why waste your time? Um, Here's the underside. 